Okay, Zabbix agent encryption. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add agent encryption because the communication between the agent and the server is not encrypted by default. So I'm going to add encryption and I'm going to use PSK encryption. So when I select the PSK option here, it shows me two things, PSK identity and PSK. That's a secret. Now I'm going to go and generate a secret. Okay, so I'm logged on to my twocoin.org server and I'm just going to create a folder. So CD home ls1 for Zabbix. So make directory Zabbix like so CD Zabbix ls. And in this folder, I'm going to create a secret. Now, PSK secrets need to conform to some rules. The PSK stands for pre-shared keys. It says here that the PSK value, which is the secret, should be a 32 hexade hexademical digits up to a maximum 512 hexademical digits. That's what one looks like there. And I'm going to create create that using OpenSSL, so this command just here. So there we go, so open SSL rand a hex 32, and at the same time I'm just going to output it to a new file called psk, secret.psk. Excellent, so let's see what that looks like, secret.psk, there we go. That number is a random number generated by OpenSSL. Okay, I'm just cut and paste that straight into my settings there. So there we go, that's the PSK. Secret. Now the secret is not transmitted across the network. So there's a copy of the secret on the Zabbix server and a secret on the agent. Okay, back to the agent here lslh it's advisable that only the zabbix user can read this file so let's just change that now so ch own zabbix zabbix secret.psk and let's change it uh, ch mod 640 secret psk so lslh okay so zabbix read only zabbix can read that excellent now we have to go into the zabbix agent configuration file so sudo nano i prefer nano etc zabbix zabbix agent conf if I scroll down to the bottom and then just up a little bit, we get some of these TLS settings here. So the first one I need to go to is TLS Connect, yes. And the setting I'm, I'm going to use is there, the PSK, just here. So TLS Connect, PSK, get rid of that comment. TLS Accept also needs to be PSK. Okay, so if we scroll down further, now I'll have a few, two other settings to look at. TLS PSK Identity. Excellent. That I'm going to, you can name that many things. For example, Agent PSK001 if you like, but I'm going to call mine twocoin.org org like that. That's my identity. The identity is transmitted across the network, so I'm just going to use something which is known already as my identity for that server. And the TLS PSK file is what we just created in home Zabbix secret dot PSK. Okay, so control X. Yes. Enter. 
Now let's restart the Zabbix agent sudo service Zabbix agent restart. Excellent. Let's just look at the status. Status. All right. Now the Zabbix agent will lose connection with the server because the server I haven't updated this configuration yet to tell the server to start using PSK encryption. So I'm just going to finish that right now. PSK and the identity was twocoin.org and that should be enough. Update that. Okay, so over here agent encryption and PSK, PSK.